So um, I, I'm glad that that we have uh, folks in here. Uh, Jackson, Christian, Austin, Gary, uh, Coda, Leon, which is my middle name. Uh, what's up? <laughs> it's, uh, you know, every Christmas we get to celebrate, you know, it's, it's Noel backwards. So that's that's always good. Uh, Tornado. Um, I can't I can't see you, but I, I, I appreciate you being here as well as Savannah, Nate, uh, C Day, and Alyssa. Um, I, I'm I'm going to be asking uh, to, so for for you guys to speak up uh, as we go through this. So uh, keep your keep your fingers on that on that unmute. Uh, Austin and Gary, who 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 else we got? Who who's that sliding? We're in all in the same classroom, no, so that's why. Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, uh, right here too. Uh, Boom. <laughs> <laughs> mind blown okay well I'm, I'm glad i'm glad you guys were able to figure out a, a situation hi uh, i just arrived what's up dylan appreciate you hopping in man um i i appreciate you guys uh having a circumstance where i could see all of you uh because that's you know and we'll talk about a little bit of that because um in most of my communication uh, with people on television uh, and a lot of times online, I can't see them, right? And so there's no there's no way to gauge their reaction, and it, it's such a, an important part of communication, right? Uh, and so what we have to do in broadcast is, is kind of unlearn that, <laughs> which is which is odd, uh, but it's all odd. And we've we've chosen an odd course and an odd path for ourselves, and so the best thing that we can do is determine the way uh, that we can go about it that will allow us uh, to be us, if if that's something uh, that you guys prioritize. So I want I want to start with a question. Um, if if anybody has a thought, uh, just just. Blurt it out, and we'll, we'll we might hear the echo chamber in the room, but that's okay. <laughs> we just gotta deal and learn. Um, when you talk about a look on camera, does anybody have any idea of of, of what that what that would mean to them and what they would want to do with regards to a look? A certain way you have a, a facial expression, and then also your voice. <laughs> That's good, Leon. Anybody else? Anybody else got got anything? You want to be serious with it, but you also want to be like happy and show that you're having good emotions with it. You, you guys see, and, and this is this is something I appreciate that. Card. This is something that I uh, thought about coming into this because for so long, people have come to broadcast. They've come to uh, communication from a standpoint of something that they saw other people doing it. But as we as we move towards the future, which, you know, time is linear, so that's always going to happen. But you guys are always doing this, and you've had to do it in, in school situations, uh, whether you're streaming on Twitch, uh, streaming on, on any type of device. That's, that's something that you're already doing, right? You, you're already thinking about what a look is and, and how that and how people react to that. And as you mentioned, right, it's something that you don't want to distract. And that's what, that's what I've landed on, right, for me. Because, you know, as you guys can see, I'm wearing my network polo and like a, a t-shirt from TJ Maxx. I'm, I've never really been a fashion person. <laughs> it's, it's never really been my particular thing. Um, but over the course of my career, as I've kind of fought through that, because there's so many people that are so good at it, where the place that, that I landed is, what does it mean to me? And, and I think in terms of getting the, the message apart, for, from my point of view, if I have a look, whether it's my, my jacket, my tie, whether I'm not wearing a jacket or tie, um, you know, if, if I'm broadcasting from a, from a training camp or a practice, if, I, if I've got a polo on, it, is my look distracting from the things that I want to say or do? And if it's not, great. 
but I can enhance the things that I want to say and do with a look. And, and that's something that it took me so long to learn as this awkward gangly kid um, that, you know, just wanted to wear slides and basketball shorts all the time. And, and I didn't like, if, if somebody's going to judge me for that, then like this, it's not, this is not who I am. I'm, you know, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. It's hot. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to make a statement. I'm just trying not to stink. Right. I just don't want to smell. And so it, there was that, there was constantly that pushback uh, for me, but eventually I, I did learn um, that through, through having a look that can um, facilitate my communication that, that, is not going to violate people's sensibilities is, you know, I'm not, I'm not dropping six or six or seven buttons, you know, back when I was 22, 23, and, <laughs> and that would be something that I can maybe get away with. Uh, but you know, it's, it, it, I, I just don't want to take away from the words and the actual journalism that, that I put so much passion and intensity into uh, over the course of the day, right. Over the course of my career, uh, just just by the way that I look. So it's kind of an entry point, right? I, I don't, I, and please don't take this as some sort of dress for the job you want, blah, all this, all this stuff that, you know, figure out the message that you want to send and then ask yourself, what's the best way I can use a look to facilitate that message? And your message may be looks are dumb. <laughs> okay. But but how how are you going to how are you going to get that message across? And, and I I think ultimately um, that is that is one part of what we do is is figuring out a way to get that message. Now I, I want to go to another thing uh, with regards to broadcast and presentation. Uh, throw some tools at me. Like what are some tools that you guys think uh, that are important to use? Like literal actual things. Uh, in terms of, of broadcast and presentation. Lighting is key. <laughs> yes. Lighting would, lighting would be one key. Uh, fortunately, you know, we, we, we've got some infrastructure in place uh, most times. I took my light down because we get worried that an earthquake is going to happen and it's, it's going to fall on the baby. Uh, but <laughs> there's a... Um, microphone. Yes. Yeah. Your microphone. Um, a I've, camera. Camera, another one. Keep them coming. Background. Your your background is is probably a, another one of those where, for the most part, well, we do have to worry about them for for home setups. Like I've Memory to give you guys to record the stuff that you uh, film. Yes, that's important. I'm giving you guys a look there. There's there's that's my a nice blue Yeti mic. Thank you, thank you. This this was from work, so I, I can't take full credit on that. They got me for this for the uh, podcast, and also from work. That's my home camera and the in the box for the for the fiber line and all that those, those are all things that you use and you guys picked up some some great examples um, another one will be the, the the ifb of course the um the interruptible feedback uh earpiece that goes in 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 people's ears and um you know there's just general stuff like like pen and paper all, all of these things over the course of a broadcast uh, can allow you to facilitate that message, right? Um, and in using them, it's it's a juggling act. I, I think when probably one of the best descriptions of of any difficult task uh, I've I've heard, right, is when astronauts were were fixing the the Hubble Space Telescope, and they were up there with really really sensitive equipment. Uh, they have these bulky gloves on and they, they ascribed it to something of effect of, uh, you know, fixing a, a high priced watch in, in a hurricane and everything's going on. And so there, there's so much, there, there's so much that could be happening at any moment. You've got people in your ear, uh, you you're watching folks on screens as, as I am now, and they, they are reacting to stimuluses. Um, I have a question. Yeah, man. Uh, earlier when you were talking about the camera, I asked what type of camera is it? Oh, my apologies. Yeah, this is a, this, that's a, that's a Sony. Uh, let's see. 
We can uh we can reel over. My battery might eventually be a problem. I just realized I'm not plugged in. You can see I've got my uh my solution to a teleprompter, which is an old iPhone that I control with an app. Very useful. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, you know. That, that'd be another tool. But this is the Sony Visca. Um, it's a remote control camera. And so at the at the studio and at master control, uh, you know, during COVID, they can tilt, pan, uh, zoom in, zoom out to my, uh, my background that we had to kind of uh, create during the pandemic, uh, which what is- What app do you use to control the camera? Uh, it's it's not it's a proprietary thing. It comes from Azuro, and that's the box that that does everything. Um, you know, we had to upgrade our internet and and do all of that. That's uh, that was a bit of a process. Uh, of course, it, this was all happening in the in the background of a of a state and a city that was locked down in Los Angeles for me uh, personally. And so, um, yeah, there was a lot of technical solutions uh to the problems that that were presented to us from from having to work at home uh but a lot of the core aspects of what we do uh remain the same uh, for example you know we did uh, nfl fantasy live we did it all by remote um but i'm still sitting in a chair <laughs> uh, i was controlling my own teleprompter at the time but it it's uh you know we're, we're still doing the show we're doing the show and there's limitations and we're all in boxes but i mean as you guys see, we're all in boxes now. Right? This is this is all we're doing. Uh, so it's it's just about um, you know getting the the best uh, product out th that we can. And uh, I do have to ask: Is there what's what's going on, guys? Hang <laughs> <laughs> on. Okay, so we were having technical difficulties when you were talking. I, when I was asking you to raise my hand. I had a reaction to your thing and I tried to say, put it down, I guess. And I put no instead and I couldn't figure out how to do it. So. Oh, okay. okay. I'm sorry about that, sorry. No, you're fine. I just, I, um, the, the, uh, the echo situation keeps me from being able to, uh, to really uh, interact with all you guys at the same time. But I, you know, it's just one of those things that, that makes us, uh, it makes this unique, right? <laughs> it makes this whole circumstance. I have a question for you at the very end, though. Okay, well, hit me, hit me up anytime, man. This is All this right. is free flowing. Uh, if you guys can think of a question, uh, ask away, um, because you know, I in between in between show prep, I, I just kind of jotted down, you know, the, the things that I that I wanted to say, and uh, you know, the questions that that I wanted to ask you guys, and um, the next one, honestly. It, once we um so we've we've hit our look we've hit our tools but the the one tool that we didn't touch on is is our voice and i, I do want to know um is voice something that you guys think about uh right now in, in terms of uh whatever yes. that you do and how how have you tried have you tried to work on it is is it something that you think that needs to be worked on? Uh, how do you go about that? Uh, I, I'm starting to wonder, because I never, voice wasn't something that I- I think, I think personally it matters between people. Um, some people have a really strong camera voice that I've noticed, and then some people are, you know, just more getting used to it. And I think, you know, it takes a while to develop, but some people have some like really strong ones, I think. And, and what about them makes them strong to you? I just think they deliver like what they say very well. It gets, you know, to the whoever's watching, I guess. And it just, um, it, it just, it tells the story really well. And I think they have like great enthusiasm and great power to their voice. And, and that's, that's so key. And I, I, I think it's tough to fake. Right. And that's something that we all pick up on uh, in terms of enthusiasm. It's really easy. Uh, for me personally, let's say if the topic is, is, you know, football or, well, you know, I, I currently work in football, but just aspects of football. Let's talk about like coach hiring practices in football uh, and, and how that can be racially inequitable. That's, that's extremely easy for me to be passionate about. Um, 
but there's there's circumstances in, in my in my career where I've had to talk about things that I've not been passionate about. And, and that's a really unfortunate aspect of um, of the industry, right? Where you know the, your demands aren't, aren't always going to align with your values. I've, I've had to do police ride-alongs <laughs> and other and other things that, that really didn't speak uh, to what I wanted to accomplish. But there's there's a way to tell every story um, that doesn't deny you your perspective, and and I think I think that's something that people will tend to, to shoehorn you into this idea that everything needs to be directly down the middle. Well, there's no, there's no middle in, in telling a story in using your voice. Um, you're always going to be you. And so there's, it, it, it comes to, there gets to be a difficult point where you think that the value of what somebody wants you to tell is contrasting with, with the value that, that you have. But there's a reason that you're telling the story, that there's a reason that you have the microphone. And if, if somebody takes it from you, um, that's something that they did. That's, that's not something that you've done. No, I'm not saying, you, you could just, hey, say whatever you want. No, 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 no. Uh, but I, I think it's important to, to recognize what aspects of, of things uh, that you say uh, can harm people and what aspects of things that you don't say can harm you um, fundamentally as a person. And, and I, I hope that, you know, if, if you're getting into this career, uh, you're not looking back at, at things uh, with regrets uh, among times that, that you've sacrificed um, things that you care about in order to, to further a career. And, and so there's, there's a line, there's obviously a line but I, I think in terms of utilizing a voice, uh, utilizing a platform, uh, recognizing that line uh, for you, for yourself, you come into a situation with coworkers, if you establish that, um, then it becomes easier to flutter across occasionally and come back, uh, but, but in, a, in a way that, that doesn't hurt you or your coworkers or you know, the business in, uh, interests of the, uh, of the person who's paying for all of this uh, out of the kindness of their own heart and of no, uh, of no desire to uh, obtain income for themselves. I, I, I only kid about that. And so uh, where are we guys? Where, where are we in terms of, is anybody currently looking to get a, a start uh, in the career in here? Maybe me. Okay. Okay. So what, what point, what point in that start, Leon, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of uh, have you as the guinea pig, unless anybody else, is there anybody else that's, that's, that's thinking about uh, jumping in? We're going to leave Leon all by himself in this. All right. <laughs> as of right now, as a class, we're all in this, we're all in this together. Okay. All right. So as a team, so, so as a team, we're going to, uh, we're going to start looking for jobs. And so the, the first thing, uh, one of the most important things that, that we can do is, any ideas? Network. Networking is on there. I, I'm not gonna put it at number one, but networking is on there. Any oh. other? Make a name Make for ourselves. ourselves. Okay, a name, a name helps. We're, 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 checking, we're checking boxes. I, I'll give you guys one more try before I, 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 I hit you with the bomb. Getting in contact with your local news stations. Okay, getting in contact. There's another one. All right. So the thing that I, that I'm I'm holding out for is stuff. You have to have stuff that people can see, that people can watch, that people can interact with. Uh, that's that's the start. Is is uh, I, I hate to call it content because uh, in so much of our world, it's. Uh, you know, that's, that's always something it's like, oh, you have to monetize content and uh, generate strategies to uh, unite with business principle. No, no, I'm just, just make some stuff that you want to make, whether that's funny videos or funny, I almost dated myself and called them vines, funny TikToks, uh, whatever it is. If you want to interview a grandparent about their experience, um, 
if you make things, uh, because that's that's what this is. Um, that's that's where that's where I got, you know, my first, uh, I guess, broadcasting job was doing PA for our high school baseball team, and like coming up to bat, like like goofy stuff like that. Um, that was that was a that was something that I made. And so it's it's easier, um, you know. You're going to get to a point where you're competing with people in a job market, and they're going to have a resume. And what's a resume? It's a list. And we look at lists all the time, guys. Everybody's always looking at a list. You you go to Google and you're looking at a list. You type in tacos. You're looking at a list of taco establishments. But if you have stuff, whether it's writing or whether it's video. Uh, whether it's a recorded broadcast and somebody that's in a position to hire folks who make stuff, see that, that, that is so, that is so incredibly valuable. Um, and it, when, when I left Troy university, um, I graduated from, from Troy in 2006, I had a resume tape. I, I had a resume tape from from college, from our college TV station. I had my internship materials and finding a job was hard, but I, I had something. I had something to show people. And that, that was a good starting point. And I got one offer, <laughs> you know, I sent tapes because this is what we had to do back then. I sent VHS tapes uh, to nine TV stations and, and one called me back. And that was because somebody else called, uh, turned them down. Um, and so I was, I was able to do that. Uh, I was, I was able to find a place to get my foot in the door and it kind of exploded from there. So that would be uh, my first bit of, uh, of advice in terms of facilitating your career off camera. Um, my second bit uh, hinges on, on what you had mentioned earlier about networking. Um, when we view networking, uh, so I think some folks look at it in terms of kind of using the power dynamics at play in any particular uh, group. You know, you, you, you nestle up to somebody who has some some sway, and you're like, "Hey, let, let's let's do this." Uh, but I think we could take an internet cliche and, and make it kind of link up and build. Uh, find good people. You're going to work with some really good people. Uh, you know, keep in touch with those people. Uh, you're going to meet the people if you if you get into this in your first job that are going to be some friends uh, for the rest of your lives. And a lot of them are going to get out of the business and maybe you might want